It is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Thursday, September the 22nd, 2016, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Funeral service for Maria de la Luz Hasso, 76 of Mule. She was scheduled for 2 o'clock this afternoon, Thursday, September the 22nd, at the Templo El Bien Pastor with Pastor Ruben Acevedo of Mule. She officiating burial will be in the Mule Shoe Memorial Park. Maria died on Sunday here in Mule. Shoe. She was born June the 15th, 1940, in Lagos de Moreno, Jalisco, Mexico. Maria is a, was a homemaker. She's preceded in death by her daughter, Josefina. Garcia, her parents, a sister, Esperanza Hasso, four brothers, Martin, Miguel, Roman, and Feliciana Hasso, and one great grandson. She was survived by three sons, Jose Ibarra and his wife, Martha of Cleburne, Francisco Ibarra and his wife, Christy of Canyon, Robert Ibarra and his wife, Stacy of Cleburne, and one daughter, Juanita Carpenter, and her husband, Joseph of Muleshoe. She is survived by one sister, Epimenia Hasso of San Bernardino, California, two daughters, Moises Hasso of Indio, California, and Jesus Hasso of San Bernardino. She is also survived by eight grandchildren and eight great-grandchildren. The family suggests memorials be sent to the American Cancer Society, 3511 10th Street, Lubbock, Texas, 79415. Online condolences can be made at www.ellisfuneralhomes.com. And repeating funeral service for Maria De La Luz, Hasso, 76 of Muleshoe, is scheduled for 2 o'clock Thursday afternoon, September the 22nd, at the Templo El Bien Pastor with Ruben Acevedo of Muleshoe. Officiating burial will follow in the Muleshoe Memorial Park. Please keep this family on your prayer list today. Muleshoe quarterback Beto Diaz will be presented his Built Ford Tough Player of the Week trophy at a presentation. It will be held Tuesday, September the 27th at 11.15 that morning at the practice field right outside of the MHS training room and uh, coach's office. So make sure to go by and watch the Built Ford Tough uh, Player of the Week presentation where Beto Diaz, Mule Shoe quarterback, will receive his trophy at 11.15 a.m. next week on Tuesday, September the 27th. He was named the Player of the Week for 3A in the whole state of Texas for the, his September 2nd performance against the Snyder Tigers. The Mule Shoe Athletic Booster Club named their players of the game versus Childress. They are offensive player of the game, Jason Flores, defensive, Dagan Dunham, MVP, Donovan Gutierrez, lineman, Fidel Mendoza, special teams player of the game versus Childress, Moises Vasquez, and Slobber Knocker Award went to Jason Flores. That was announced Tuesday night at the Mule Shoe Athletic Club uh, boosters meeting that is held at 7 p.m. at the MHS Commons area every Tuesday. This week, uh, tomorrow on Friday, the Mules will match up against the Idaloo Wildcats, which always has a good football team. Their head coach is Jeff Lofton. The superintendent at Idaloo is Jim Waller. The Wildcats are coming out of District 2, 3A, Division 2. They're a smaller division than the Mules, and they are 2-2 two and two on the two, uh, 2016 season. Uh, to start off their season, they beat Shallow Water 17-14. They lost to Seminole 0-29. to They beat Littlefield 38-21 to and lost to Post last week 35-21. to Looking at the Mules district standing so far. Of course, no one's played a district game until two weeks from now. District 1-3A stands like this. Mule Shoes at 2-2, two and two, Littlefield 2-2, two and two, and Friona at 2-2. Two and two. River Road is 1-3, and three, Slayton is 1-3, and three, and Shallow Water is uh, surprisingly at 0-3 and three on the 2016 season. So the Mules will match up against the Idaloo Wildcats against, uh, again Friday night at 7.30 at Benny Douglas Stadium. Make sure to go out and cheer on the Mules as they are in their last pre-district game of the season. They'll have a bye week, and then district will begin the week after that. You can see video highlights of that Muleshoe Idaloo game on our website, muleshoetv.com, beginning on Saturday. And then join us here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 for the full game broadcast 
beginning Saturday morning at around 9 a.m. Brought to you by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, Barrett Potato Farms, Muleshoe State Bank, K&K Pharmacy, Muleshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Hereford Feed Ingredients, Muleshoe ISD, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, Coyote Lake Feed Yards, McDonald's Restaurant, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, Mohawk Auto Parts, Wilson Drilling, Precure Electric, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Burton Service Center, Ag Aviation, Edward Jones, Stephen Dement, and uh, that game call will be by the voice of the Muleshoe Mules, Jim Daniels, along with color and, and stats by Steve Brown. Also on Friday before the game, make sure to eat with the MHS senior class. They will serve their pregame meal of Mexican Fiesta Pylon and Sofapia Cheesecake. They will serve from 5.30 until 7.30 at the MHS Cafeteria Commons area. Delivery orders will be taken from 5 until 6 p.m. Call 806-272-7305 for a delivery. Prices are $8 for adults and $5 for children. You can get your tickets from any MHS senior or uh, purchase them at the door as well. That's Mexican Fiesta Pile on Sofa Pia Cheesecake. Pre-game meal will be before Mule Shoe and Idaloo Friday. September the 23rd at the MHS cafeteria from 5.30 until 7.30. Deliveries will be from 5 until 6. Call 272-7305 for your delivery. It's $8 for adults and $5 for children. Tonight on Thursday night, the ninth and JV football teams will be in action at 5 and 6.30 respectively at Idaloo. And then uh, the junior high football teams will play Idaloo as well right here in Muleshoe at Benny Douglas Stadium. The B team begins at 4 p.m., the 7th grade at 5 p.m., and the 8th grade team will start their game at 6.15. So good luck to all the uh, junior high and 9th and JV football teams versus Idaloo tonight. Tomorrow on Friday, they will have a pep rally at 11.15 a.m. at the MHS gym. Cross Country will be in action beginning 9 a.m. Saturday morning at the Lubbock Invitational, so good luck to them. Muleshoe Police Officer Ricardo Ruvalacava asked us to relay this information to you about some scam calls that have been reported recently here in the Muleshoe area. The Muleshoe Police Department has received several reports from citizens in reference to scam phone calls from individuals stating that they are IRS agents and demanding money in order to keep you from going to jail. Please do not release any personal information or arrange a payment if you receive a phone call of this type. If you get a scam phone call or for more information about these calls, you can call the Muleshoe Police Department at 806-272-4569. Again, please don't release any personal information or arrange a payment if you receive a scam phone call from an IRS agent. Again, call for more information, the Muleshoe PD, 806-272-4569. It is time now for the weather forecast brought to you today by Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications. First, a message from our Sponsor. Secure your life with fast technologies available through Five Area, whether you're in Muleshoe or anywhere in the world. Security and automation services for your home, farm, or business available now through your hometown company, Five Area. Plans starting now at $20 per month. Fast Technologies offers live and recordable video surveillance. Control your door locks and garage doors, whether you're in your recliner, or around the corner, or in Dallas. Lighting control and motion detection. Door and window sensors. Receive alerts through text, email, or phone. Plans again starting at $20 per month. Call today. 5 Area, 806-272-5533, or go by their website at 5area.com. They will also be happy to give you an on-site demo, so stop by their offices today, 302 Uvalde Street, on the west edge of Muleshoe, a DSL internet connection is required. That's home, farm, and business security and automation services available through Fast Technologies at 5 Area. Call 806-272-5533 for more information. Well, our nice temperatures should remain through this week, through Friday, and then this weekend, a 
uh, low pressure system will move through West Texas uh, southeastward, and it will bring a strong cold front that will lower our temps into the 60s and 70s by Sunday and bring showers and thunderstorm possibilities with it as well. Looking at our forecast for the Muleshoe area, sunny, high near 86 degrees today on Thursday, south wind around 15 miles per hour, mostly clear tonight, low around 60, south-southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour sunny on friday high near 84 degrees south winds 10 to 15 miles per hour increasing to 15 to 20 miles per hour friday afternoon winds could gust as high as 30 miles per hour as that low pressure front uh, moves into the area 20 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms for friday night mostly cloudy low around 59 south winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour the national weather service out of lubbock says mule shoe has that 20 percent chance of rain beginning around 8 p.m. Friday night and running uh, through about midnight. So uh, if there is um, a chance of rain, it might happen during the football game Friday night. So you might want to take a raincoat and umbrella with you. Saturday a little bit cooler during the day as it's uh, forecasted to be mostly sunny, high only around 80 degrees, west-southwest winds between 5 and 15 miles per hour. Only a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms during the day on Saturday. Saturday not another 20% chance of rain, partly cloudy, low around 49, southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest after midnight. Then Sunday, a big change of 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms during the day, partly sunny. High only around 70 degrees. Windy conditions on Sunday. Northeast winds between 20 and 25 miles per hour, increasing to 25 to 30 miles per hour. In the morning hours, winds could gust as high as 45 miles per hour as that low pressure front really uh, sets in. A chance in showers and thunderstorms Sunday night, mostly cloudy, low around 41 degrees. So it's going to be uh, very cool uh, on Sunday with a low around 41, high only around 70 north, northeast winds. Sunday night, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms during the day on Monday. Mostly sunny, high only around 66 degrees. Northeast winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Mostly clear Monday night, low around 41. Tuesday, sunny, high near 71 degrees. Tuesday night, mostly clear, low around 48. So we're going to get quite a cold front that will move in this weekend. It will really set in by Sunday. We have a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms during the day on Sunday. Partly sunny, high near 70 degrees during the day. Uh, and then 41 the low Sunday night. So rain chances over the weekend and much cooler weather. Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. The MISD Board of Trustees met on Monday evening and they voted to appoint Ashley Turnbow to the position uh, as a trustee that was vacated by Jared Lee on July the 11th. Of course, Jared moved and his family moved from the Muleshoe area. The uh, board chose Ashley Turnbow and congratulations her and good luck. We hope that you heard her full biography that Dr. R.L. Richards sent to us in Tuesday's Mule Train News. We'll be back with more Mule Train News in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. <laughs> Yum chips. I like Peewee chips. Foxy likes them too. Right, Foxy? <laughs> These Peewee chips are the best. I like the seasoning, salt, and the salsa on my chips. And that's at Lee Owls, the originally Owls in Mule Shoe at 1010 West American Boulevard. Right, Isla? Yes. And this edition of the Mule Train News is being brought to you today by Lee Owls Mexican Restaurant, along with the First Bank, introducing the new School Spirit MasterCard debit card available now at the First Bank for the Mule Shoe Mules, Dimmit Bobcats, or Bovina Mustangs. Call or come by to get yours today, 202 South First Street, 806-272-4515. Show your team spirit and earn cash for your school every time you swap your card. Available now for the Mule Shoe Mules, the School Spirit MasterCard debit card. From the First Bank, 202 South 1st Street, 806-272-4515. The First Bank is member FDIC. 
You're invited to the community-wide Bible study, The Story, beginning on Monday, September 26 at 5.30 p.m. at the Baylor County Civic Center meeting room in Muleshoe. These one-hour Bible study meetings will be led by laypersons and are prepared by author Randy Frazee, Senior Minister of Oak Hills Church in San Antonio, and present the Bible's seemingly disconnected stories in one grand, unfolding epic. Child care will be provided. All ages are welcome. Hello, everybody in Muleshoe, Texas. This is Randy Frazee from San Antonio, Texas. I just want to let you know how very proud I am of you. The word has reached my office uh, of the gathering you recently had with seven to 800 people from uh, the churches in your town to gather uh, under our Lord Jesus Christ and to really celebrate uh, law enforcement and first attenders. And now that is going to the next step, which I think is going to be dynamic, where churches are going to gather together uh, to study uh, the story together. And we know that whenever God's word goes out, it never returns empty or void. It will accomplish its purpose. You know, the story is going to be a great journey for you. First of all, you're going to see that it's it's not a, a, a list of hundreds of ancient, unrelated stories, but God's story is just one grand story of His love for you and I and the extent He went to get us back. As you go through this, you're going to discover just how much God wants to be in a relationship with you. The second thing you're going to discover is that the story is not finished yet. You know what that means? It means that you're a character in the unfolding of this grand love story. So I want you to know that I am rooting for you, not only as you go through the story and unite the body of Christ together, but as you discover your role in the unfolding of the story, that lives will be changed, people will come to God, and God will get all the glory. God bless you guys. That's a community-wide Bible study, The Story, beginning right here in Muleshoe on Monday, September 26, at 5.30 p.m. at the Bailey County Civic Center meeting room. Child care will be provided, all ages, and everyone in the area is welcome. The Muleshoe Meals on Wheels program will be holding a chili luncheon fundraiser on Wednesday, September the 28th in front of the Bailey County Courthouse from 11 until 1.30. Come out and eat chili, chili with beans, cornbread, Frito pie, and cobbler. Support the Muleshoe Meals on Wheels program on Wednesday, September the 28th on the Courthouse Lawn from 11 until 1.30 for the chili luncheon fundraiser. Donations will be accepted. The Board of Directors of the Muleshoe Hospital District will meet in regular session at 6 p.m. this evening, Thursday, September the 22nd at the dining room of the Muleshoe Medical Center, 708 South 1st Street. They will call to order, have an open forum, approve the tax rate for fiscal year 2016-17, Approve Parkview Nursing Care Center budget for fiscal year 2016-17. Uh, they will approve uh, revised bank authorization for Parkview Resident Trust Fund. Approve minutes of previous meeting, financial and statistical reports, hear administrative reports, and adjourn. That's all on the agenda for this evening, Thursday, September the 22nd, 6 p.m. The Board of Directors of the Muleshoe Area Hospital District will meet in regular session at the dining room of the Muleshoe Area Medical Center, 708 South 1st Street, right here in Muleshoe, Texas. On Sunday, October the 2nd, the Calvary Baptist Church will celebrate their 70th anniversary beginning at 9.45 that morning. Former pastors James Williams and Daryl Martin will both be on hand to speak. Brother Jeff Kaufman and the members of Calvary Baptist invite you to the special 70th anniversary celebration. It will be Sunday, October the 2nd at the Calvary Baptist Church here in Milshew, beginning at 945 that morning. Former pastors James William and Daryl Martin will be there to celebrate as well. The Trinity Christian Center Church will hold their fall festival on Sunday, October the 30th at 6 in the evening at the church with food, games, family fun for everyone is invited to the fall festival at the Trinity Christian Center Church Sunday, October the 30th beginning at 6 p.m. On the menu today for lunch at the Oneida Wagner Senior Citizen Center, Main and Avenue D right here in downtown Muleshoe. They'll be serving chicken salad sandwich, tomato, lettuce, and pickle, macaroni, salad, carrot sticks, and watermelon. Tomorrow on Friday, September 23rd, fish or chicken strips, barracho beans, green peas, tossed vegetable salad, 
low-cal French dressing, whole wheat roll, and a tropical fruit mix. On Monday, they'll be serving salmon patties, scalloped potatoes, green peas, tossed vegetable salad, sliced whole wheat bread, and peach apple crisps. On Tuesday, navy bean and ham soup, sweet potatoes, turnip greens, cherry cobbler, and cornbread. They play bingo every Thursday afternoon at 1.30 at the Senior Center. Also, bunko is played the first and third Tuesdays at 10 a.m. In our bargain basement today, we have to give away a small black dog, a male chihuahua mix, a year old. His name is Brody. He loves being outside. If you want this dog, please call Evelyn at 806-240-2300. That's to give away a small black dog, male chihuahua mix, a year old. His name is Brody. Call Evelyn, 806-240-2300. If you have a bargain basement item you'd like to add to our list, uh, it's buy, sell, rent, trade, loss, found to give away. Call us here at Channel 6, 806-566-5881. The MHS class of 1966 will have their 50th reunion at Homecoming here in Muleshoe, October the 7th. If you want more information, contact Diane Brown, 806-946-8628. They're looking for phone numbers and addresses of all their former classmates. The class of 66 will have their 50th reunion right here in Muleshoe during Homecoming, October the 7th. The MHS class of 61 will have their 55th reunion starting Friday evening, September the 30th. Here in Muleshoe, you can call Mom for more information, 806-272-4989. Also, another reunion here uh, this fall. The MHS class of 86 will have their 30th reunion on October the 7th and 8th here in Muleshoe. Heather Merritt Silva is the person to contact about the reunion. Call 575-973-7631. Also, you can find her on Facebook. Of course, this is the very first day of fall, the fall equinox, as we will uh, enjoy today 12 hours of sunlight and 12 hours of darkness. Alcoholics Anonymous meets every Tuesday night at 7 in the First United Methodist Church. Please enter the south door on Avenue F. The meeting is in the second door on your left. For more information about AA and Muleshoe, call 806 518 8036 AA is a fellowship of both men and women who share their experiences, strength, and hope to stay sober one day at a time. Again, 806 518 8036 for more information. They meet every Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. at the First United Methodist Church. That's 507 West 2nd Street here in Muleshoe. Enter the south door of the church uh, along Avenue F. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. Brand new in at Tattered Tumbleweed from the Filling Smitten Bath Bakery are the Epsom Salt Shakes, perfect for your bath to relax, soothe your muscles, and soften your skin, available in several different scents. Also, cupcake bath bomb fizzes in vanilla, wedding cake, pink bliss, mimosa, and new popsicle bath pops in lemon meringue, cotton candy, mango, among many other scents. The weather is turning cooler in Tattered Tumbleweed, 1405 West American Boulevard in Muleshoe, has a great selection of cinch vests and jackets available in several different sizes and styles. New Huey Rodeo wallets and trifold wallets and Tattered Tumbleweed has expanded their selection of knives, now carrying Texas Cutlery, Moore Maker, Noble, Smith & Wesson, Boker, Buck, Case, Old Timer, and many others. Caps from Huey, Hurley, Rope Smart, and Cinch now in. Trench-style long raincoats and buckle boots are perfect for this rainy season, now available at Tattered Tumbleweed. See the beautiful new selection of dresses and outfits for your little girls from Magpie and Mabel and Persnickety in lots of different sizes and colorful styles looking for the perfect gift giving idea try these gorgeous fleece throws that will warm up any cold night available now at tattered tumbleweed 1405 west american boulevard they're open monday through friday 10 a.m till 6 p.m and saturday 10 a.m till 2 p.m in muleshoe texas Two weeks to go home following a hospital stay. Recover close to home with the Swing Bed Program available now at the Muleshoe Area Medical Center, 708 South 1st Street. The Swing Bed Program is for Medicare patients discharged from Muleshoe or any other area hospital following an acute illness, injury, or surgery, but still need time and physical therapy to heal and strengthen before going home. Call today for more information about the Swing Bed Program, 806 272 
4524 the Muleshoe Area Medical Center, 708 South 1st Street, right here in Muleshoe, Texas. Call for more information about the swing bed program, 806-272-4524. Looking at our prayer lists today, continue to remember Janie and Joseph Carpenter as they were in a wreck near Amherst. They're both recuperating in Lubbock in the hospital. Also remember Raymond Trider and his son who has cancer. Remember Ruby Ward. Continue to remember her. She's had a hip surgery. Remember Jerry and Bill Savuto. Jerry is suffering with cancer. Jacob Sh uh, Shelton, the grandson of Jay and Sally Messenger. Remember Ronnie Wilkerson, Maureen and Robert Hooten, Barbara Scott, Patricia Smith, and her husband David. Continue to remember Mike Friend, Gene Richardson, who's had knee replacement surgery recently, Lavinia and Lloyd Garlington, R.L. and Doris Scott. Remember Gene Paul Jarman on your prayer list. He's been in the hospital recently. Ronnie Kenmore, Dole King, Bob Landers, Anna B. Lane, Laurenette Mason, Landon Nichols, Ogaline Pruitt, Mary Ellen Robertson, Maxine Rogers, and her husband Clint, Dorothy Sorley, Brian Taylor, Dorothy Turner, and Glenn Watkins all need to remain on your prayer list as well. Keep the families of Francis Maramontis, Frank Parker, family of Barbara Carpenter of Littlefield, formerly of Stegall, the family of Nelda Marriott, Nelda Laney, the family of Blaine Hurtado and Daniela Anaya. Keep all these families grieving the loss of a loved one on your prayer list today. Hey, hey. Well, it's about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train Mule News. Train. Brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Lee Al's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train news rotating on Reach Broadband Channel 6. You also find it on our website, free of charge, on demand, anytime you want to listen to it. MuleShoeTV.com. Click on the Mule Train news link at the top center of the page. I'm Tumbleweed Smith, the Davis House in Mulberry Canyon. Details in a moment on the Sound of Texas. The Sounds of Texas are brought to you here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well as MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe as well as in Morton. They're celebrating 77 years of rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric. Check them out online on their website, bcecoop.com, 806-272-4504. They're owned by the members that they serve, the board of directors, the members, employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle. I hope that you enjoyed this Sounds of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. Charlie and Susie Davis moved into a house in Mulberry Canyon near Sweetwater. The house was built a long time ago. 1917. The original family was called the Dimry family. They came from South Carolina. And Mr. Dimry's father was a surveyor for the government because this land was unchartered. So he came out and surveyed and thought this was a beautiful place. So he went back to South Carolina and brought his family out. We are in Nolan County, just barely, close to Taylor County. There's a natural spring that runs through the place called Weaver Springs, and we are actually the northernmost extension of the Edwards Plateau. These hills just to the west of our house is where the Edwards Plateau ends. The wood for this house was brought by wagon from Fort Worth because the railroad didn't come this far yet. The Davises are only the second owners of the home that was built in 1917. When they bought the house in 1977, it was vacant and had been used to store hay. The mice were really bad, and consequently, the rattlesnakes were really bad because they came to eat the mice. So the first thing we did was put a fence around and seal off the bottom so the snakes couldn't get under the house. And it took us about two years to get the house livable and scrape up the money because we paid for it as we went. And we've actually lived out here since 1979. We put in insulation and new wiring and raised three children here and we just love it. Mr. Demery, the original owner of the home, died in 1930. And he's buried out here, White Church Cemetery. He is a Civil War veteran was member of the 62nd Georgia Infantry. Mr. Demery, the Confederate, his father was from St. Simon's Island in Georgia, and he was actually Captain Raymond Demery, 
who fought for the British. You know, they, they couldn't pick the winning side. Charlie and Susie Davis of Mulberry Canyon. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the Sound of Texas.